This evening, struggling to find a place to stay after Hurricane Michael. Several people are in temporary housing, like condos, saying trailers are their last option. But as News 13's Alex Thorson tells us, some residents in Bay County are calling trailers their new home. Trailers making their way into Bay County. They will continue to come in as needed. With some obstacles along the way. As you can see, debris is a big issue. We have to make sure that the properties are viable to be able to put these units on. Jody Dillon and her husband evacuated during Michael, returning four days later to see their community and home devastated. I don't get upset real easy, but I was hyperventilating. Michael took their entire chimney and fireplace with it. We had a big hole in our house and our house had been open to Mother Nature. After applying for FEMA aid, Dylan says the closest place to stay was 70 miles away, which they commuted back and forth each day. Anywhere from two and a half hours to five hours one way. That was until a FEMA trailer arrived last week. This family is one of the first to actually receive a FEMA trailer since Hurricane Michael six weeks ago. Being here on our property gives us a lot more hope because now we have the whole day to continue to rebuild and work on the home itself. Dylan says they could stay in the trailer for up to a year out of the allowed 18 months. We basically have to gut our entire home and rebuild it from the inside out. But is blessed to be living at home again, even if it means sleeping in her front yard. It's a little cramped, but we will make do and we're blessed to have it. In Lynn Haven, Alex Thorson, News 13.